Hello and welcome back to another edition of the InstaFilter video series. In today's episode, I'm going to share a super easy, uncommon method to make your photos pop. It especially works well with bright images and have a look on what happens when I turn it on. Pretty amazing, right? So let's start with a new image. You will be amazed how easy it is to apply. We just need one curves adjustment, which I will add right now. Here is the trick. The control point on the left representing the shadows will need to be moved up about two thirds of the first grid section. The control point on the right controlling the highlights will need to be moved about one third of the first grid section. You will get this dark inverted image and usually I move the right control point a bit up so the image gets a bit more grey. The magic will happen when we apply the subtract blend mode. The subtract blend mode subtracts the values from the top layer from the bottom layer and usually darkens an image. Dark colors have a low value and therefore will not have a strong effect when used with a subtract blend mode. On the other hand, bright colors will subtract a higher value, which means that the areas with bright colors will be darkened. Enough theory, so let's apply it. Amazing. Let me turn it on and off, so you can see the effect. Now, it could be that some areas have become too dark. Blend ranges to the rescue. With the help of the blend range, we can decrease the effect on the shadows. Really awesome. Let's try it on another image. As before, I will add the curves layer, then set the left controller to two thirds of the first grid section and the right controller to one thirds. A small adjustment to make the image more grayish. And finally, set the blend mode to subtract. Easy peasy, have a look at that. A much more interesting photo. Again, I can adjust the blend range if needed to bring back the shadows. Pretty awesome. I'm going to reset the blend range for now and show another way of achieving the same result. Just to show you that there are many ways of achieving an end result. But keep in mind that the subtract curve method works much easier in my opinion. Let me disable our effect and add another curves layer. I will set the blend mode of this new curves layer to multiply, which as you might know darkens the image. To achieve the same effect as earlier, we will need to set a point halfway to the top left grid box and another point halfway of the left bottom grid box, but this time horizontally. As a final step, a small move to the right for the left control point. Excellent. If I'm not mistaken, this achieves the same effect. Let me demonstrate it by putting the two curves layers side by side using masks. As you see, there is no difference. So, in theory, you can use either method, but in my opinion, the subtract curve mode is much easier to use. Let's have a quick look at another photo. This photo already looks amazing. Let's see what happens when we apply our subtract curve. That is amazing. To finish the effect for this photo, I will adjust the blend range to get back the shadows a bit. Let me copy the adjustment and use it on a different photo. After I paste the adjustment, I can fine tune it for this photo and the end result is definitely a more interesting photo. Let's continue on applying this on another image. This time I will share a bonus tip with you. First, I will again apply our curve to this image. Instead of the subtract blend mode, you can also use the soft line blend mode, the difference blend mode, or the reflect blend mode. They all work very well with this curve, so don't be afraid to experiment with those blend modes. However, I will use the subtract blend mode for now. As promised, here is the first bonus tip. As our effect darkens the image, we can brighten it by duplicating the curve and changes blend mode to color dodge. 
Have a look at that. Just gorgeous. One of the reasons why this works so well is that the color dodge blend mode is a blend mode which brightens an image and works similar as a subtract blend mode where darker colors have a less effect than the brighter colors, allowing us to reuse the same adjustment. If I turn off both layers to see the before, and when I turn them back on, we can see the total effect it generates. It's pretty amazing. I will hide this image and use a different image. This method just works. Just wait, I have another bonus tip for you. But first, let's have a look at this image. This is quite a dark image. I will apply our subtract curves layer and we get this very dark look, which is not very pleasing. But with the knowledge of my previous tip, we can lighten the image by using the color dodge blend mode. I will adjust the blend range of it so the highlights coming from the sun are not affected that much. Now let me duplicate this layer a couple of times until I have brightened the image. As we brightened our image, we can now apply the subtract curve to it. Have a look at that. So much more interesting than before. Time for my next bonus tip, which I will share with you on the next image. But first, let's apply the subtract curve. This makes the image more interesting already. I will duplicate this and the effect gets a bit stronger. But here comes the bonus tip. I can now go into the second adjustment and adjust the RGB channels to do a controlled color toning so the image gets a bit warmer. Pretty awesome. You can also apply the first tip I shared with you. Make a copy of the first adjustment and set its blend mode to color dodge to brighten the composition and get some nice bright colors. Let's have a look at what we started with. Quite an improvement. I just love how this effect works all the time. Here is another image. Let's apply it and see what happens. Gorgeous. And with the second bonus tip, I can change the colors in a very subtle way by adjusting the RGB channels. It also does wonders for food photos. Let me adjust the color channels to make the sandwich look more delicious. How about landscape photos? Well, have a look at that. Pretty cool. As this is a quite bright photo, I will duplicate the adjustment and adjust the colors a bit. And finally, the same adjustment again to brighten the image and make the colors pop. Just super cool. I think you get the idea. I can keep throwing images at this method, but every time over and over, it just generates amazing results and there's not much wrong you can do. To wrap up the video, let's have a look at our starting image. Isn't it amazing how one adjustment can transform this image? Here is the curve I used if you're interested. I hope you liked this video and found it interesting. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, also don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Keep safe and keep being creative. Until the next video.